Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Gadgetel, and this is my 8GB Nexus 7. You know, Nexus 7 is a fantastic tablet, but you gotta admit, 8GB is not a lot of space to play around with, especially once you take it out the box and realize you really only have about 6GB of storage, and it's just not enough for a lot of people. But it didn't bother me because not only did I plan on being a lot more selective about what I put on the tablet, I'm also supplementing the storage for movies, music, and photos with this thing right here. This is the Kingston Wine Drive, a 16 gigabyte model. You can find this on Amazon for about 50 bucks. And what this is, is wireless storage. And you can see right here, it's a USB port. You plug this into your computer. You copy all the media files that you want on the Y drive and using its built-in Wi-Fi connection, it will stream that content to your tablet. You don't even have to be connected to the internet because it's all coming from right here. But there is a way for you to stay connected to your home wireless network so that you can continue to surf the web while being connected to the Y drive at the same time. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to download the Kingston Y Drive app from Google Play. And here it is right there. It's about 693 kilobytes, so small, you really won't even know that it's there. So once you have that installed, you have to connect to the Y Drive. So just scroll down in the notifications bar, go into your settings, go to Wi-Fi, and connect to the Y drive. Make sure the Y drive is on. The battery is getting a little bit low in this, but make sure that it's on and that the Wi Fi signal is flashing. And I'm going to connect to the Y drive. You can put a password on it if you like, but if not, don't worry about it. So now that I'm connected to the Y drive, I'm going to stream a movie to the tablet. I'm going to stream Indie Game the movie. And uh, just show you that there is. There are no movies stored locally on this thing. If you go into Google Play and you scroll over to personal videos, that's where it will show any videos that you have stored on the device. So there are no videos on here because I'm trying to save storage, right? So go into the Y Drive after you connect to it and go to the Y Drive option, the very top one, and then you're going to see all the things that you have placed on the Y Drive. Some things are just there, I don't know what they are, but at the bottom, is Indie Game the movie. So we're gonna click on that, it tells you this warning, it says like, oh, you might not be able to do this, the file's over two gigs. But this file is not over two gigs. We are going to resume playing. And this is uh, Phil Fish talking about Fez here. And we're just gonna scroll to a random portion of the movie. And uh, having some complications getting Super Meat Boy on Xbox Live Arcade. Any game of the movie, it's a really good movie. So yeah, as you can see, this is streaming from the Y drive to the tablet wirelessly. Good stuff, right? Now, traditionally, if you have not bridged the internet connection between the Y drive and your home network, you will only be able to connect to one of them at a time. But I'm gonna show you how to bridge those connections. Now, currently, they are already bridged because I could not figure out a way to undo it. But I'm still gonna run through the steps. Go back into the Y Drive application. Click back on the Y Drive option as if you wanted to play a movie again. And then go down to the menu here and go to settings. When the setting menu opens up, it's going to open up your web browser. And you have these three options here. Let me, see, let me just see if I can zoom in just a little bit without it getting too mucky. And you see Y Drive settings, network connections, and upgrade firmware. You have to go to network connections. And it's just going to scan around, see all the internet connections that you have uh, in your vicinity or whatnot. And it says, choose a network. Well, my network is called Jeremy. So we're gonna choose Jeremy. Ask me to put in my password. I'm gonna do that. And once you do that, it's going to say rebooting now with the countdown timer 
uh, for one minute. Now the Y drive itself is rebooting. You can see the wireless blinky blue lights are no longer there, but it is still powered on, so it is rebooting. And once it's done rebooting, uh, you're going to have to go back into your Wi-Fi connections and connect to the Y drive again. Uh, do not connect to your uh, home wireless network again. You have to connect to the Y drive. That's that's just the way it bridges. Don't know why. That's just the way the instructions. Uh, that's the way that they're written. So we got about 14 more seconds to go, and I, I wanted to do this all in one take just so you can get a really clear idea of of how long this process is actually going to take. Three, two, one. Please check Wi-Fi connection. Okay, we are going to do that. We're going to go back into settings here. Go back into Wi-Fi. And we're going to connect to the Y drive again. Obtaining IP address and now it's connected to the Y drive. Let's see if we are connected to the internet. Let's go back into Google Play. And let's just try to go to anything. Staff picks for tablets. There it is. Connected to that. Let's go to Chrome. Let's go to Chrome. Uh, see where we can go. Uh, let's go to Gadgetel. Why not? And Gadgetel pops up right there. So we are connected to the home, uh, my home wireless internet connection. So let's go back to the Y drive. And it's searching for the Y drive right now. And this is another thing that you have to uh, be aware of. Sometimes it does not connect to the Y drive automatically. Sometimes it's really zippy, like, whoa, there you go. And then other times it takes a minute. So it took a minute, but we are connected to the Y drive here. Let's go back to Indie Game the Movie. Okay. Uh, let's start over. I'm going to start this over. And there we go. Streaming ahead. Still going here, talking about Braid with Jonathan Blow. Going back home. And just for another reference, there are no personal videos stored on this device. So that is how you can use the Kingston Y drive to connect to your home internet connection while still pulling content from your Y drive. Uh, this is really good if you want to supplement storage on your iOS or Android device, especially with the Nexus 7. It's superbly popular, but 8 gigabytes is not a lot of memory. So if you don't want to rely on the cloud and if you don't want to tether, but you always want to make sure that you can access uh, high definition movies that you know you can't put on this thing, at least not too many of them before running out of space, consider the Y drive. If you already have an 8GB Nexus, that is, or 8GB, yeah, 8GB Nexus. If you already have the 16GB version, you know, if you want to get this, you know, that's totally fine. I do not recommend passing up the 16GB um, Nexus 7 for the Y drive because they're both $50 more. You might as well as get the larger tablet. But if you already have the 8GB Nexus 7 and you're thinking, why did I do that? I should have gotten the bigger one. Consider the Y drive. And since it works with multiple devices, it, it's not like it has to be tethered to the Nexus 7. Or if you know someone who has a Y drive, you know someone who can get it on the cheap, really consider this option. It's very small, it's very light, compared to a 4.7 inch phone, it is considerably lighter and uh, a little bit smaller. You can fit it in your pants pocket even if you're wearing skinny jeans. So that's how you do it. Uh, enjoy your Nexus 7 no matter, well that is really out of focus, enjoy your Nexus 7 no matter which version that you got, it's a fantastic tablet, and uh, yeah, supplement your storage. So until next time, I'm Jeremy with Gadgetel, and I'll see you next time.